you. Well, the big breaking news coming in from the Supreme Court at this point in time is that the top court has struck down the three-member proposed probe panel by the BCCI. Remember, the BCCI had come up with a three-member panel, finalized three names, including those of R.K. Raghavan, the former CBI director, J.N. Patel, the former uh, Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court, and former India cricketer Ravi Shastri. There were a number of objections raised as far as these three names were concerned, especially by uh, the Cricket Association of Bihar, which is uh, the petitioner in this case. The Secretary of the Cricket Association of Bihar, Aditya Verma, who is fighting the BCCI in the top court, had said that he will urge his counsel, eminent lawyer Harish Salve, to ask only for a SIT or NIA probe into the IPL 6 betting and a spot fixing a scandal. Now the big news is that the Supreme Court has not accepted the three member proposed probe panel by the BCCI. What this means is uh, that the BCCI has been told in no uncertain terms that we cannot go by your formula. Remember the BCCI had an emergent working committee meeting and after three hours where the pro Shinivasan and anti Shinivasan camps fought with each other they came down to these three names. The Supreme Court very importantly now has asked the Mudgal panel if they can carry out the investigation into the 13 names that are there in the sealed envelope with the Supreme Court. The Mudgal committee has to reply to the Supreme Court by 2 p.m. today. All right, uh, we're being joined now by my colleague Rika Roy, who's uh, been there in the Supreme Court tracking uh, this case, not just today, but right from the very beginning. And also eminent cricket commentator Charu Sharma joins us live from Mumbai. Thank you both for joining us. Rika, if I could quickly come to you first. Uh, any new further details right now? Well, Akash, uh, let me uh, start by telling you who argued this case today uh, for Cricket Association of Bihar. It was none other than Abhishek Manu Singhvi who argued for Cricket Association of Bihar, the petitioner, and told the Supreme Court judges about uh, instances of uh, conflict of interest of, of the three members who've been proposed as a part of that panel. But what really, uh, uh, you know, was brought to light and what really perhaps uh, made the judges take this decision of striking down the pro panel was uh, lawyers, uh, go was, lo was lawyer Gopal Subramaniam's uh, uh, deposition before the court when he said uh, that uh, Mr. Raghavan, Dr. Raghavan appearing before the Mukul Mudgal panel mm -hmm. had said that he wasn't in a position to talk uh, about N. Srinivasan because uh, he... Uh, is an administrator in a club which is run by TNCA, uh, which is the Kamyut Cricket Club. It plays in the fifth division under TNCA, so he's, in an, he's not in a position to talk about uh, Mr. N. Srinivasan. Perhaps that was the clincher and that was the moment when the judges decided to strike down this three-member pro panel that was proposed by the BCCI and then they heard Gopal Subramaniam further asked him why, what stopped the panel from taking um, measures to which uh, uh, the lawyer said that perhaps there were two things one was over overstepping their mandate and the second was not having investigative assistance to which uh, judge AK Patnaik said if they were given investigative assistance would they be willing to carry out the probe? Would they be uh, willing to further probe those 13 names mentioned in the sealed envelope and also the allegations therein? Uh, to which the lawyer said that he shall have to come back to the court. Uh, he will right now, of course, talk to the Mukul Mudgal panel and come back, give, give his reply at 2 p.m.